Hello, this is God7, and in the last tutorial I showed you how to convert your file to bytes and how to load from those bytes. Now we're actually going to do so and take care of some of the problems that come up. So, structures. Purse file new p equals that annoys me. Structures tools dot purse bytes to purse file file dot read all bytes it's going to be test dot purse and then we're going to just to make sure that everything's working we're going to save the file just to, as a test file dot write all bytes test to dot purse and by writing this we'll prove that everything is working and we're going to use structure tools dot purse files bytes new p then let me run let's see if it works Luckily it does. Let's check the file size. But how do we know they're identical? I'm going to open this with HXD rather than Hex Workshop. And I'll show you what I'm going how I'm going to use this. So I'm also going to open text to that purse. And unfortunately you can see some data shifts around. But what could be going on wrong here? Before we, there's no real need to actually look into the data. We can actually just compare the P and the new P. Age is 21, the favorite numbers, 77. Okay, so you can see that the favorite numbers are not working. And so the friends offset, 68, 75, 82. 88, 75, 82. And if I go to the friends, 22, John, 31, Lucy, 21, Jim, everything seems to work here. Number of favorite numbers, number of friends, version, everything except the favorite numbers. And this is why we debug, because we need to see what goes wrong in our tool problems rather than having to look through a bunch of bytes to see the differences like a hacker we can just use our debugging skills so let's see where we're screwing up here we're in it's in the favorite numbers ah here's a problem we're only setting the first number numbers to the i so if we run this we're saying keep to continue now if we look, just to verify, I'll copy this and then look in the original file, the hex values, and if I search it, it matches 100%. But here's the problem. If we were to make in our program.cs here, add, make some changes to this purse file, like add a new friend, or or change the name or something it would change the file size and then the offsets would be completely different and why we can't do that is then our file size and offsets will be bad 
which is not good because then the file will not work anymore. So we'll need to make a function that recodes all the offsets. And so how we're going to do that is in structures tool, we're going to make a function to recode offsets. Public structures dot purse file file with new offsets and sizes. And you're probably wondering, if we do have offsets, why would you ever, since we didn't never use the offsets for reading or writing the data, why would we need them for the data? Well, you would need them if you want to access a specific one. So rather than reading everything or all of these things, you can just go to a certain offset and not have to read all the data. So now let's, for the summary, let's point regen or rate offsets of a thing, of a purse file. And you're going to need to input a structures.persefile p. And we're going to return new file. And it's actually going to be return p. But what we can do here is actually copy to get the file size and the return final data here. So if you remember right here, you can calculate the offset by just copying this code here. If we paste it in here, it should work. Static. Make it static. And if we look, everything seems to work correctly. And let's just double check that everything is working. So we're just going to hit new p equals structure tools dot file with new offsets and file new p. Now if we do this, it should still work, and everything should be exactly the same still. And now once we do that, they will still be the same, and they're still the same because the offsets are regenerated. But if we were to add more data into the file format, we can actually add the offsets. Now to add these tools to our application, I'll show you how to compile DLLs. And so you can use them just kind of like normal, but we need to compile the DLLs first. So I need to go here with all the CS files and you need to find a developer command prompt. I just put a link in my documents for simplicity, but you need to find where yours is located. I'm going to cd to this and I'm going to use csc and first structures.cs. And you'll say, oh, it, why isn't that working? Because we need to set the type to library by doing that. And then we need to use the structures tool, but we need to add the structures.dll so that way it can work. So we need to add the reforce because structures tools depends on that. And now 
we have structure tools and structures.dlls, which will have the data that we made earlier. This has been another tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and successfully learned how to make your own file format for your game. I know this tutorial was kind of slow, but I kind of worked on everything so that way you can see how it all works out in the end and everything that you need to do. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all later.